How many people know what Nix is? NixOS is a very basic language. Well, Nix is a language, and NixOS makes use of it. And all you do is describe your computer in basic ways. Like, I want Firefox installed, or I want this behavior when the system boots up. And then it just goes ahead and does it. And you can apply that, it turns out, to mobile devices. So what is mobile NixOS? You can find out about it at mobile.nixos.org. And the author of this is Samuel DR. I didn't make it, I just use it. So this is what it looks like. I was going to try and show you it here, but I guess that's not going to work out because it's too small of a screen and it's too bright. But you can hook it up to the monitor. You can put a USB hub into it. And you can have fun using your normal computer because phones are never going to be the same again when people realize this. So you can use it like this, or you can use it like this. And this is the amount of code that I need to write, and I appreciate that it's not a good environment to show it off in, but it's a very small diff. Uh, it looks like one, two, three, four, uh, looks like 10 lines of code. And I can make a NixOS configuration that already exists work on my phone instead of on my laptop. Now, the work that made the kernel, the Linux kernel, work on this device has been done by Caleb Connolly. And they may be at this camp, I don't know if they're here, but they've done amazing work over the past two years, all spare time. And a lot of work is inherited from PostMarket OS. I'm using a window manager called SXMO, which makes use of Sway, which is a tiling window manager, and it turns it into a sort of mobile operating system. By the way, you can also run Windows 10 on the phone if you want, via this UEFI implementation. And by the way, we can run Android as well. So if you want to just escape to Android for a second, you can. You click one button, and you've got Waydroid. And then you swipe to the left, and you're back in full Linux. And how do we do that? It's that single line of code right there. So if anyone is skeptical of Nix and NixOS, you should check it out. And by the way, we can emulate x86 programs. So if we just run a, like Bitwig Studio or some program that runs under Windows, under Wine, it will just run on the device just with this one line of code. And you could do local speech processing on the device. It doesn't take much time. Potential future, well, maybe we'll get USB-C and DisplayPort everywhere. The uh, demo I showed you of making it work on a monitor, that's just a hack because it works over USB. This doesn't have DisplayPort alt mode out of the USB socket. And by the way, everything's kind of insecure because <laughs> Uh, there's no secure boot implementation, but in the future, that could change. There's nothing stopping us from implementing secure boots on this device, because it, it has a trusted platform module, etc. Uh, phones that are worth using are rare. This is one in a million, because this is a one plus six. It's got 10 gigs of RAM. It costs $100. Maybe you should all go buy one, but then the price won't be $100 anymore. Um, yeah, and this is kind of like the only phone that works this well at this time. Your phone is a computer. If we can get USB-C on every device, maybe we can get an open bootloader on every device as well. And the, EU, the European Commission reckons that the USB-C connector saves a lot of money. How much money could this save? Because this isn't just a connector. This allows you to run any piece of software you want on your mobile device. And everyone's phone is probably enough computation for them. And that's it. That's my talk. Oh, but, oh actually, uh, Stardust XR, it's a VR display thing. It allows you to like pick windows up with your fingers and stuff like this. You could use it with these glasses. I've been using the phone with these glasses. If you think the display is too small, don't, because you can just put it on these glasses and you can put have a big monitor or a world of monitors around you. Right, and uh, many other disaster um, setups have been made by me that I can't show off because I don't have any time, but yeah. Oh yeah, the head computer. <laughs> Right. Thank you, yeah. Matthew. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, one last thing. If you if you want to see more about this, come to the Nixos tent next to Seabase, and you can hang out with me. And uh, I'll I'll be doing a talk about this tomorrow if you're interested. Thank you very much.